The Life and Sad Ending of Gail Storm Gail Storm, born Josephine Owaisa Cottle, was born April 5, 1922, in Bloomington, in Victoria County, South Texas. The youngest of five children, she had two brothers and two sisters. Her father, William Walter Cottle, died after a year-long illness when she was just 17 months old, and her mother, Minnie Karina Cottle, struggled to rear the children alone. Storm's elder sister, Lois, gave her baby sister the middle name Owaisa, a Norwich Native American word meaning bluebird. Her mother took in sewing, then opened a millinery shop in McDade, Texas, which failed, and finally moved her family to Houston. Storm learned to be an accomplished dancer and became an excellent ice skater at Houston's Polar Palace. Storm attended Holy Rosary School in what is now Midtown Houston. She performed in the drama club at both Albert Stanley Sidney Johnson Junior High School and San Jacinto High School. When Storm was 17, two of her teachers urged her to enter a contest on Gateway to Hollywood, broadcast from the CBS radio studios in Hollywood. The first prize was one, a one-year contract with the movie studio. She won and was immediately given the stage name Gail Storm. Storm had a role in the radio version of Big Town. After winning the contest in 1940, Storm made several films for the RKO Radio Picture Studio. Her first was Tom Brown's School Days, playing opposite Jimmy Lydon and Freddie Bartholomew. She worked steadily in low-budget films released during this period. In 1941, she sang in several Soundies, three-minute musicals produced for movie jukeboxes. She acted and sang in monogram pictures, Frankie Darrow series, and played ingenue roles in other monogram features with East Side Kids, Edgar Kennedy, and The Three Stooges, most notably in the film Swing Parade of 1946. Monogram had always relied on established actors with reputations, but in Gale Storm, the studio finally had a star of its own. She played the lead in the studio's most elaborate productions, both musical and dramatic. She shared top billing in monograms Cosmo Jones, Crime Smasher, in 1943, opposite Edgar Kennedy, Richard Cromwell, and Frank Graham in the role of Jones, a character derived from network radio. Next, Storm starred in a number of films, including the romantic comedies G.I. Honeymoon in 1945 and It Happened on Fifth Avenue, 1947, The Western Stampede, and the 1950 film noir dramas The Underworld Story and Between Midnight and Dawn. U.S. audiences warmed to Storm and her fan mail increased. She performed in more than three dozen motion pictures for Monogram, an experience which made possible her success in other media. In the 1950s, she made singing appearances on such television variety programs as the Pat Boone Chevy Showroom. In 1950, Storm made her television debut in Hollywood Premier Theater on ABC. From 1952 to 1955, she starred in My Little Margie with former silent film actor Charles Farrell as her father. The series began as a summer replacement for I Love Lucy on CBS, but ran for 126 episodes on NBC and then CBS. The series was broadcast on CBS radio from December 1952 to August 1955 with the same actors. It became one of the most watched sitcoms in the early 50s. Her popularity was capitalized on when she served as a hostess of the NBC Comedy Hour in the winter of 1956. That year, she starred in another situation comedy, The Gale Storm Show, Oh, Susanna, featuring another silent movie star, Zazu Pitts. The show ran for 143 episodes on CBS and ABC between 1956 and 1960. Storm appeared regular on other television programs in the 1950s and 1960s. She was both a panelist and mystery guest on CBS's What's My Line. In her role as recording artist, in November 1954, a 10-year-old girl Linda Wood was watching Storm on a Sunday night television variety show, NBC's Colgate Comedy Hour, hosted by a Gordon McRae, singing one of the popular songs of the day. 
Linda's father asked her who was singing and was told it was Gail Storm from My Little Margie. Linda's father, Randy Wood, was president of Dot Records, and he liked Storm so much that he called to sign her before the end of the television show. Her first record, I Hear You Knockin', a cover version of a rhythm and blues hit by Smiley Lewis, sold over a million copies. The follow-up was a two-sided hit, with Storm covering Dean Martin's Memories Are Made of This, backed by a cover of Gloria Mann's Teenage Prayer. That was followed by a hit cover of Frankie Lyman's Why Do Fools Fall in Love. Storm's subsequent record sales began to slide, but soon rebounded with a cover of her own label mate, Bonnie Guitar's haunting ballad, Dark Moon, that went to number four on the Billboard Hot 100. Storm had several other hits, Headline Las Vegas, and appeared in numerous stage plays. She recorded for only about two years with Dot and then gave up recording because of her husband's concern with the time she had to devote to that career. In her personal life, she was married and widowed twice. In 1941, while still a teenager, she married Lee Bonnell, then an actor and later a businessman. They had four children, Peter, Philip, Paul, and Susanna. In 1988, two years after she was widowed, she married Paul Masterson, who also predeceased her. In her 50s, she struggled with alcoholism. She later became an active member of the South Shores Church. Storm made occasional television appearances in later years, such as on Love Boat, Burke's Law, and Murder, She Wrote. In 1981, she published her autobiography, I Ain't Down Yet, which described her battle with alcoholism. She was also interviewed by author David C. Tucker for The Women Who Made Television Funny, 10 stars of 1950s sitcoms. Storm lived alone in Monarch Beach, California, near two of her sons and their families, until failing health forced her to into a convalescent home in Danville, California. Sadly, she died there on June 27, 2009, aged 87. She was cremated and ashes given to a family. She is honored with three stars on Hollywood's Walk of Fame, a radio star at 6119 Hollywood Boulevard, a recording star at 1519 Vine Street, and a TV star at 1680 Vine Street.